Hello students, so we have here Jay with us, the first rank from CLAT and LPT is very proud of you Jay and so in this case we need to discuss various things from Jay, what proved to be an edge for him, how did he prepare, what were his merits, demerits and how did he conquer over the CLAT, right? So here we have Jay. Good morning ma'am. How are you feeling Jay? I'm really good. I feel like I'm on cloud nine, especially after the result. At first, it was a sort of disbelief, but now it has finally sunk in. Right. So he's been, you know, starting with the idioms on cloud nine, on seventh heaven he is. And we all want that you must know the strategy that CLAT has been there with him for the whole of his journey of CLAT because of LPT. So Jay, we start with you. What was the first thing you would like to give to the people who are the CLAT aspirants, our LPTians, that how did you crack the CLAT examination? So for one thing, the entire paper it is passage based so the most basic thing that we have to do is uh, English because you need to be able to understand the passages and understand the things that are written and also the things that are not written in the passage but the things which you can understand from the entirety of the passage. So English proved to be an edge for you Jay right? Yes ma'am I had uh, I think only one wrong in it and that gave me a huge boost. Right so English just one wrong right so this was the first boost up for you. So how would you uh, define what was your preparation like for the CLAT uh, English section? So for the English the most important thing I think was uh, vocabulary for me because vocabulary proved to be useful in understanding the passages understanding the options and there are many words which sound the same but there are fine differences between them which you told very well in the classes and that helped one more thing that uh, i found very important was the root words like abscond there are words which i cannot get the meaning directly but you told ab root means uh, to move away right right that's that's the recall he has done from the class itself you know class is something of lpt which is adding a feather in his cap he has his english very much you know brushed up because of this the root words the modules and the things because you know if anybody who understands the passages and understands what does it mean the surface meaning and the symbolic meaning can do clad so jay has in his his entire journey focused on the English section and it was a wonderful edge for him. What more Jay you would like to tell us what was the second option, second thing you focused on in this? So the second thing I focused was uh, CR section because this year CR was very tricky right. but still I got only two to three questions wrong in CR which Point actually was really the... noted my lord this is the thing that I would say here because Jay just got two or three wrong you know we all have some imperfections but then he just you know worst thing we would like to share a very candid incident which happened in our class when he came for the first time in with the critical reasoning class we were doing a passage on logos you know the modern gen z working on and moving on on logos so in that case when jay entered just to test him i gave him that please tell me what is your score so what happened jay you tell us the incident so i had four questions wrong out of five in that passage so it's three the climbing the ladders of success one mark on five and that was no negative marking. yeah that is why i had one <laughs> that mark. is to be noted again because he got one right and it was not a demoralizing thing he made it he, a determined thing that he has to do wonderful in critical reasoning section this reasoning section which is based more on rationality and reasoning helped him a lot to do the CLAT thing he will tell us further about it how did he do the things what were the assumptions questions books he referred so to. for the reasoning there are three to four major things such as strengthening weakening assumptions and inference mm -hmm. so like you told me in the starting that uh, there are 25 questions for each and Wiley roughly so I would do those questions every day I would do one thing and I would ask you the doubts the next day right and he was very much religious about it you should see that if I said 25 he would come in the class with 25 questions more than one or two so he did refer to the Wiley books the modules and things to crack his critical reasoning section too what further you would and uh, I think I did six to seven sheets of assumptions and those were the most helpful because there was a passage about that machinery 
and their assumptions were very helpful mm. and those type of questions you had some different sheets mm. apart from just the passage based standard sheets and right. those helped a lot because that question was different from the normal style right assumptions play a wide i would say a pivotal role in doing the critical reasoning section questions and english vocabulary is the backbone of it and what were the things like you faced the scolding of the teacher you know, sometimes you felt embarrassed or even scolded when you didn't answer in class you yes. know students are very much eager to know that there must be something so like there felt. were some weeks where you had uh, classes daily and those were the uh, like the scariest week because you would give a lot of homework and a lot of scolding every day so scolding is a part and parcel of our teaching and that makes something right yes that definitely helps because that keeps us on track okay and what about the other things in the last stages what did what were the other things you did in the last so stages? in the last stages one thing uh, that you told and other teachers also told to take the 50 marks 60 marks we had done right and analyze those marks again and like we would have 500 doubts roughly because you have 10 questions wrong in each right. marks so we would have all those doubts and we can see them again and actually see what we have learned over the time right and what about the marathons tones literary device yes you had a tones and literary device marathon hmm. that uh, from that i think three questions came from the, that marathon right itself see marathons are you know and again a thing which you will make you rise like a phoenix three questions directly were there from the marathon series which we did of lpt and jay could do that wonderfully he was sometimes confused in some literary devices yes metonymy and cynic <laughs> right metonymy and cynic key is always a confusion for the students but he you know mastered by the tricks that we did in the class and now i think nothing is anything in no confusion i have the same topics in my 12th boards but now okay. they don't confuse me that's that see 12 boards also he has to appear and with 12 boards he did it and came out you know victorious in this uh this you know always students have this back in the back of their mind the hindi medium student that we can't do clat or like english is not good do you think that 6 uh, to 8 months of preparation or even the whole year by december they'll be able to ape crack it yes they can do like uh, with me there were many people who were not very good at english when they begin but by the end they were almost equal and like it is a uh, thing it is a barrier you have to work harder but you can definitely do it so not not impossible you would say yes it's definitely any message not you would like to give for those who are not having an edge like in english so like you will always have an edge in some other subject and you have to look at the bright side because always there will be some negatives mm -hmm. for me gk was a negative for me initially so you will always have some negatives and some positives you have to work on maximize at your positives see everyone has and so his edge over english and critical reasoning proved to be very much fruitful lucrative to clear this anything any other things you would like to share related to your preparation the things that uh, you know hampered your growth and the things which made you progress in this uh, like there is a point everyone comes to that point your scores in mock get stuck and especially the main three sections english legal and cr right. your stocks uh, scores get stuck and that point uh, that lasts many times for me it lasted over a month right. but the way i concurred it was i analyzed all the previous mocks and i analyzed them together and i saw the kind of mistakes i was making because right. there is always a pattern when you see a lot of questions right. together you would like to say is that there is a pattern in the errors right, right? and after every 10 marks we take a chunk of those 10 marks and yes it? you used to take doubt classes for the right. chunks as well we used to take doubt classes for that and you know regularly analyze the mock lpt mocks are in fact a dress rehearsal of the class right. no no exaggeration that's quite true yes that is quite true and like you should spend the same time analyzing it as the same time you are attempting it right so uh you were maintaining your notebooks regularly you were regular to class any yes. kind of distractions you had to be very serious at this age we do have distractions yes there is a distraction from phone so in the last few months i had deactivated the social media accounts okay. so that i don't get distracted right deactivating the account for just last 2 3 months is quite cool right students and uh, maintaining the notebooks coming to class attending the mocks and you know regularly revising analyzing asking your doubts will really work wonders right. right anything else you would like to tell the students about like they would like to add on the fi final the last and the last but not the least question that can they do it if they join today itself by february or march many students would come up after the boards and they feel that they'll be able to do the clat examination journey isn't it too late or is it early what should they do i started in june and gave the exam in december so it's definitely possible so 6 months is more than enough yes it is more than enough 
six months journey is not something which will not lead you to success nothing el dorado you have here you will be reaching the summit very soon right jay yes ma'am any message you would like to give to the law aspirants that they can crack clat examination yes definitely you can crack it if you keep a positive approach and you should regularly connect with your teachers and keep a track on everything right and so students english will really prove to an edge not only english critical reasoning legal qt and gk all of you have some merits and demerits some subject where you excel some subject you may be lacking in but nothing is impossible possible and so jay gives you this positive message the sanguine message that yes you can do it right jay yes, yes, thank you for sparing your time and giving a message to the last parents thank you ma'am thank you